Accelerator versus Janimba. A kind of interesting matchup. Again, this video was a donation, so thank you very much for the donation. This matchup is very reliant on Accelerator because he's actually extremely weak. Like, you would probably be able to box him up. The only reason why he's talked about in many high-end versus debates is because he has a passive vector barrier around him at all times that also all reflects everything. By the way, a vector is anything with direction and magnitude, which is almost everything. So now we have to find out exactly how high does Accelerator's vector scale. So something to know is that Accelerator is just blatantly above Trozone. Like he could reflect her attacks, clash with her, and even just depict it as being able to just utterly defeat her at the end of their fight. This is important because with her magic flaming sword, it would say that she can cut and destroy the entire Index universe, including all the dimensions that exist within inside her verse. So how high does their cosmology scale? Well, for stars, they have at least 11 dimensions because due to the character having a teleportation ability that just allows her to teleport between the 11th dimension. But it even goes further beyond that because they have stronger cat theory as well as quantum mechanic theory that exists inside their cosmology, which would give them around an infinite dimensional structure due to them having Hilbert space, which is also just blatantly infinite dimensional as well, not including the other quantum mechanics and including the stronger cat theory, or making them or the cosmology around high hyperversal. And for Accelerator being able to reflect those attacks from her, that means he can reflect vectors on an either low ball, high complex multiversal, or either on the mid or high ball, depending on your interpretation, a high hyperversal cosmology or scale in terms of vector manipulation. And for speed, he really has nothing. He has some FTL feats, but he really just got speed blitz by an attack with infinite acceleration, like he could not react to it. And I'll go over hacks in the conclusion if they're even relevant in the first place. Okay, to make a long story short, Janimba slams. Mind you, this is the Dragon Ball Heroes variant of Janimba, so you already know this is going to be unfair. Basically, his entire scaling is based off him being able to dick down not only Xeno Goku, but also Vegeta inside the Super Saiyan 4 transformations. Goku, while in base, is able to slam a full power Demigra who's able to destroy all of Dragon Ball history. Mind you, the Dragon Ball history includes not just the DBZ cosmology, but also includes an infinite variance or copies of the DBZ history and cosmology. The Dragon Ball Z history has been consistently stated and shown inverse and outverse to be a Type 3 multiverse. With similarity to Accelerator and his cosmology, a Type 3 multiverse would include many things like quantum mechanics, wave functions, etc. among many other things. As we've already discussed, this would make their cosmology an infinite dimensional hierarchy. By the way, they have an infinite copies of their cosmology with this history, you know, just food for thought. Not only is Demigra able to destroy all of this, but he also absorbed Toki Toki, who exists beyond all of history or the cosmology in general, and even created it, making Demigra at least outerversal as him being beyond all dimensional scale. And for the sake of lowballing, we'll just give Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta the same amp as Super Saiyan 3, which is 400 times. With him being able to dick them down, that would make him able Janimba 400 layers into outer lowball. And for speed, he would have a relevant speed because he's able to fight either people who existed beyond all dimensional skill or able to exist in realms beyond all dimensionality. Let alone hacked, just purely based off their stats, Janimba is just clearing. Maxlayer has never shown the ability to even reach an infinite amount of hyperversal skill, let alone outerversal. He would have vectors so high that he would just be able to just walk past his barrier and just gut punch him and just he would be fooled this frail little kid that he is. Not to mention his speed is something far greater than he's ever encountered with having a relevant speed. Literally the concept of speed has no meaning to Janimba. He could punch him over millions of times in less than even seconds before he could even notice what was going on and he would eventually be dead. Overall, this is a very, very one-sided stomp in Janimba's favor. He does take this pretty casually. And that'll be all, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I do have a little announcement I want to make on all these donations. It's just, I will make an announcement. Be brief. I would rather you guys only donate stuff of stuff of my own content. Because I don't really like venturing off to different verses. Like, I know nothing about JoJo or Berserk to actually give full in-depth scales. Let alone even Star Wars. Among many of the other things like Index as well. Or even Madaka for that matter. I really don't want to venture off into my own knowledge i do not understand because then i'll be taken away from projects i am passionate about not to mention i love the videos you guys have donated like there's one i will be doing
doing it. Well, not spoiling it, but it's something I am actually very passionate about that I was probably going to do eventually. So it's really nice. I will not, I'll make an announcement of this more sooner, but expect an announcement. Just, you know, we're going to be reordering or reorganizing the way we're doing our donations. But I am still doing all the donations you guys sent me. Again, guys, you do not have to donate me any money to do a video. I already have videos I'm doing that you just request in the comics I will be doing. But if you ever do want to donate, this is my cash app. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join the Discord link description below. And that'll be all. Mr. Crafty, out.